Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make a traffic cone. We start by adding mesh. Now we're starting by adding mesh cone over here. Where we're going to switch the vertex, let's say 120. Uh, we'll make, make the radius number 1, 1, and the radius number 2, 0 0.3. And we have a depth of 3. So we have our basic shape. Uh, I want to reduce that one to 0 0.2. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we move it up a little bit so it gets just above the grid. Like this. Okay, now we go back to edit mode and we're going to use the control R button where we roll the mouse in the middle until we have four. You see four lines, and then we press on the left key twice, like this. Now we have uh, to give it a color, and our basic color is a red. So we're going to choose orange red, something like this. Okay, um, let's call it orange red. That's the main color, and now we're going to add an extra one, which is white, of course. Mm -hmm. Give it a little bit of intensity, not too much. Now we're going to reduce, I've forgotten that, for the shadow. I don't want any shadow. Okay, and I uh, want to assign that to the levels are going to select and we're going to select that by using over here face selection tool right click on one face hold down the alt button and click on the vertical edge hold down the shift button and click on the vertical edge right click with the mouse of course now we've selected both of them and we're going to select over here white and we're going to say assign now we have signed the cone into two different colors okay we're going to select underneath a line, therefore we're going to choose over here a line. Right click on that one, hold down the Alt button, Alt button and right click on that one. Press E to extrude and S to extrude outside the center. Something looking like this. Now we're going to extrude and going downwards. So we're going to extrude and, and we're going to give it something like this and the only thing now necessary is we're going to add a plane so add plane you see that the plane is not positioned correctly so we're going to position it somewhere over there just inside the other one if you position it very carefully and you know the correct diameter or is uh, uh, reference point then you can choose the exact reference point by using over here the coordinates. Now we're going to enlarge it a little bit so it is a little bigger than circle. Okay, and we're going to give it a certain thickness so we press E and we're going to extrude it a little bit like that. Now, going to select the edges, right click on that one, hold down the shift button, right click on that one, turn it over sideways and hold down the shift button right click on that one do the same over here and now we use the control b move it aside and do not press and roll with the middle mouse key until you cut the edges that you want i'm going to let mine looking like this okay now i think we have our uh, Traffic cone, the only thing we necessarily have to do is we're going to give it the background, so therefore switch to object mode, we're going to add mesh plane, which we're going to enlarge and we're going to position it underneath. I'm going to enlarge it a little bit. And I'm going to give that one a green color. Because I find that you can you can give it also a grey color, it's it's depending on what you want. I'm going to look mine is going to look like grass okay now we're going to position the lights I'm going to 
bring one like more over here. We're going to copy it by holding Shift D and moving it aside to this side. Okay, and now we're going to position the camera. So lock camera to view and cursor on the screen, press zero. And we're going to position the cone where we want them. I'm going to let it look like this. Okay, when everything is good, press zero with the cursor on the screen and say render. I think everybody knows already the output should be the correct directory where you want to put the file in. And we're going over here to switch to the file format. I'm going to choose JPEG. Well, when this is done, you can render it. And there you get your result of your traffic. And you see that it is still not okay with the shadow. So we're going to switch to red, for instance, where I'm going to choose the red color. And we're going to switch off shadow. And secondly, which is more important, is we're going to bring the lights a little closer to the front, like this. Same over here. And that should be okay, I think. Let's have a look. You see, this is our traffic cone. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Bye.